and the, the synagogue are in the heart of Jerusalem, it is actually become the heart of the community, the Italian Jewish community in Jerusalem. In their imagination, they were actually, when they entered to this synagogue, they felt like this is Italy. They got back to their roots, to the place they used to be in Italy, and they entered this synagogue as Italian Jews. The Italian synagogues uh, in the period of the Baroque and later on in the Rococo were uh, done by artists and Hebanists non-Jewish. Uh, the Jewish couldn't be carpenters, they couldn't create elements like we see here around, and uh, they have to receive the permit of a non-Jewish art. Last time that Jewish people used this synagogue, it was in the First World War when the Austro-Hungarian army conquered Italy. A Jewish chaplain searched a synagogue to pray in. Someone remembered that the old lady had a great key to enter a building that used to be a synagogue. The chaplain, he was amazed by the, the beauty of the space. And from that day on, the synagogue was closed and not reopened. I remember very well when the synagogue was opened here in 1952. I saw a very old Ashkenazi rabbi that was crying in the entrance. And I asked the president of the synagogue, who is crying there? And he said, oh, this is Rabbi Aaron Deshon. And he was the chaplain in the Austrian army. And he is the first time that he sees again the synagogue in Eretz Israel. In this synagogue, actually, you can feel, when you enter the synagogue, you can feel the life and the vibes of this community, which is still alive, almost here, the holiness of this place and the antiquity of this ark. Uh, 